All right, three, two, one, we should be live. Hello, happy Monday, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Instead of an upload today, we have a live video. I wanted to explore some of the images coming out. You know, I do review these images and, uh, you know, I only get so much time with them. And I like to revisit them, spend some more time on it. So this is uh, Mr. H. Aris, Aris. Um, and he had the 128 not too long ago. I only did the review. I didn't do a live stream on it. So I want to live stream because a lot of people seem to really like it, myself included, and play around with it a little bit more. But also, you're gonna wanna go ahead and stay tuned because we have a lot of topics to talk about today, if you're wondering. Uh, we have um, some new single board computers I've been doing some uh, videos on. We have... Um, the uh, Dreamcade Replay update, the Atari VCS update, and then the Neo Geo Mini update as well. And then, of course, we're going to be playing some games. You're probably wondering, what are you running this on? I also like to overclock so people can see kind of performance and things like that. So let's go ahead and hit F4 right here on our keyboard. If you hook up a keyboard to RetroPie and you hit F4, it should bring you out to the terminal. This this image is... The one thing I, I'm not so sure about this image is it takes a little bit of time to get to this point. Anyway, so I'm on here now, and I've already done this uh, script before, sudo cat, sys devices system, CPU, CPU zero, and what this will do is tell us what our maximum frequency is. So I don't know, oh, it doesn't look like it's kicking out to that, but um, it is running 1.5 gigahertz. So now I'm gonna reboot an emulation station here. Uh, it's stuck on the, it didn't like it. The uh, the video capture device did not like switching to the terminal. Um, so I wasn't able to show you that, but it's running 1.5 gigahertz right now. Um, and I can show you that my temps are a little higher because of that. But I am I am using the uh, liquid aluminum or wicked aluminum case, so the cooling should be good. Right now, my screen is just loading up Emulation Station. So, uh, Neo Geo Mini, there was some news on it. We still don't know when it's going to come out. The rumor, I mean, it's supposed to come out this year, though. Even if you look at the uh, at the Amazon link, it should, um, it should be coming out this year. But the Amazon says, like, it shows that it'll be a while, but it actually will be uh, this year. All right, so my screen is frozen on the stream. So what can we do here? Restarting the pie won't help. I'm just gonna, I'll be, just give me one second. It'll reboot, watch this. All right. Here we go. So we got Shrimp Zoo, Retro Junkie, Sony. Three, two, one, my destiny. What's up guys? Gary, how's it going guys? Um, 4.3. No, this is 4.4 RetroPie. Uh, my RetroPie didn't freeze at all, guys. My Pi did not freeze. This is my capture card. The capture cards, a lot of them do this, that if you go from like a high resolution to a low resolution, it thinks that there's no video signal. So it just like, it stops requesting it or stops reading it. This is very common. Um, it'll happen when you switch to a track mode, things like that. So anyways, here we are on the image. Uh, we were talking about the mini Neo Geo mini. Uh, I'm excited about it. Once that pre-order comes out, I'll, I'll definitely be posting it. But for now, it doesn't seem like we have one yet. So hopefully soon. Um, let's go ahead and check out some games here. The thing with all these Nintendo DS games is they're all going to give me copyright. So we're not, <laughs> not going to jump on that right now. So this is RetroPie 4.4. Uh, this theme is made by Mr. Eris as well, um, so pretty cool, pretty cool stuff as well. Um, as far as 128s, I'm finding most people prefer the 128 gigabyte size because going up to 200, 256 is a little more expensive, but I'm seeing that shift a lot lately, a lot more people going for the, uh, going for the 128 or going for the 200s now because the price is dropping quite a bit. But this is why these these sizes are really um, these sizes are really popular right now. All right, so let's get this warmed up here. We're overclocked. Let's play something a little more uh, a little more. So, Bloody Roar is actually a game that takes seems to really. Let's try Bloody Roar too. 
really take the cake as far as uh I'm gonna sneeze, give me one second. Just kidding. Um Ah, Mr. H up in the house. If you change it to detailed, okay. So there you go. I'm actually going to go into a track mode as well. But um, really liking this. It's really good stuff. Um, so I want to show some overclock gameplay as well. Um, so that's on the mini Neo Geo. Also, the game list was released. I think it was similar to what was leaked as well. So you can see a lot of the same games there. Um, biggest disappointment to me is just how small the screen is now that I keep thinking about it. You know, seven inches is... Depends who you ask, but seven inches is pretty small. Um, and uh, so PlayStation, always a good, especially once we got this new Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. A little bit of extra megahertz, definitely helping out. So the last video I uploaded was on the uh, Tinker Board. And I have a video coming out soon comparing the Tinker Board to the Odroid to the um, Raspberry Pi 3 and uh, the Raspberry Pi 3 though I mean look at this beautiful image beautiful bezels running PlayStation just great Wow perfect you guys see that perfect or should I say perfect because it's a cat and it purrs okay all right so <laughs> Let me play one more round. I want to heat this thing up. Heat it up hot. Yeah, this is RetroPie 4.4. So it'll run on the Raspberry Pi 3 B Plus and the B. We got a lot of new 128s, guys. Um, I need to update my list of best 128s. I think this one would probably land on there. Another one I have to check out more is the Retro Rampage. Word Dirty Gaming has a new 128 out soon. And, uh, ooh, that bunny, though. <laughs> Drop kicked. Um, and uh, there's still the uh, Virtual Man's 128 still up there. You know, they won my first, and I don't think they're going to lose that top spot that easily. And uh, a few others. A few others. Maybe there'll be a recall box image in there. Final round. Oh, they, she caught up. Bunny over here caught up. Ooh. Nice roundhouse. Grab her. So, uh, Raspberry Pi 3 plays, I was going to say, just it plays PlayStation really well. So, just to kind of show you guys. Grab, 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 grab. Man, she is missing these grabs. We'll just go for some kicks then. That was a good combo right there. One more kick. Just turn around. There you go. <laughs> There you go. All right. So, I mean, this game, you know, if the overclock is too hot and your case is not long enough, I've had this game crash on me a lot. So, 1.5. It'll run on the 1.4 just fine. Just wanted to pick a game. But I was always oh, going to talk about single board computers. I recently did the Tinkerboard image. I'm really excited about that. He told me he's he's adding some Motion Blue 6 stuff to it. So that image should be uh, getting better and better. Uh, somebody pointed out in the video on the comments, and I thought I have mentioned it in the video, is that the Tinkerboard has the best GPU out of all three, from the Odroid to the Raspberry Pi. And uh, the problem with that, though, is not all emulators use the GPU. A lot of emulators use the CPU more. So the Odroid does have the fastest CPU at 2 gigahertz versus 1.8 on the Tinkerboard versus 1.4. And as we see here, 1.5 on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, but something I wanted to mention was that's why the, the Odroid can often run Nintendo 64 even better. But uh, I have a video coming up on that very soon. All right, what else are we going to play with here? Let's go to a track mode. Let's just switch this out. So many games, so little time.
So a lot of images now coming out with the track mode as well. What do we got here in the chat? All right. Great image. Pulled it down two weeks ago. Yeah, man. I, I think it is really nice. On a track mode, the theme seems to be working fine. I added some more things. Not sure if that's messed up. All right. Well, we'll have to check out the new one. I'm skeptical that the Pi 4 will even be able to play Nintendo 64 and Dreamcast. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Jade would beat both of these chicks. <laughs> Jade's a savage, for sure. Virtual Man is top. World of the Game right there. Mr. Harris pimping as well. You go those top three? All right, all right. We'll see, we'll see. I gotta do some stuff. Have yet to overclock. Yeah, overclock is, is nice. No, this image is stock clock. I overclocked it. So he's saying that it'll load better in here. So let's go consoles. Let's see what we got, consoles. And uh, we played some PlayStation, maybe some N64. Did I miss it? All right, oh, Super NES Classic Edition. Command and Conquer. So here's a track mode. Really beautiful, right? Zelda, Madden. I don't want to get a copyright strike. Let's do some Mickeys. Yeah, see? Way faster boot. In uh, You see how fast that was? Boom. Right in. Yeah, so emulation station rocking a little harder here as far as uh, loading times. Now, as far as the Nintendo 64, it does take a little bit more time to load up. I am using the, going with the Afterglow. Afterglow controller today, guys. Oh, it's green. I wonder if that's going to, it'll be blank when you, when you see it. Um, oh, somebody mentioned Raspberry Pi 4. Yeah, guys, I, so Raspberry Pi 4. I would not get excited about that if I were you guys. The Raspberry Pi 3, they claim they're gonna be supporting it for the next you know, three or four years. They just released the B+. Plus. Um, if you've read some reports, it shows that they're gonna be partnering with Google. Great stuff, they're gonna have the capital, all sorts of things. But to me, partnering with Google is more about the educational background of it. So, I, I, they're not thinking about gamers. Um, that said, you know, you do have, you, let's go with, um, top speed. Let's do goofy top speed. We're going to go for the slow and steady. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so, you know, personally, I think it's going to take a long time till we get a four and it's not going to be that great. Um, I'm going to bring this up in the next video I do, which is, you know, the Asus is a, is a business. They care about sales. If anybody's ever seen the Asus phone that they're making, has um, if anybody's seen like their laptops or tablets, they always go for performance, 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 in my mind. They either get the really nice screen, the really fast processor, and that's because their business model, what am I doing in this game? <laughs> Did I click the wrong thing? Uh, if you look at their business model, they, they're a business. They're trying to make sales. So they are, in my mind, they're going to give us a better single board computer than Raspberry Pi is. Um, that's just my opinion. Uh, but it all goes back to software. Raspberry Pi 3 has better software. So, yeah, we're kind of we're kind of in this midpoint of... Raspberry Pi is way more support, way more images, way more all that. Okay, good luck. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Now can we play the game? Um, but the Tinkerboard, especially if the Tinkerboard comes out with another one, is going to be way more... Are you kidding me? I don't care about this postcard. Wow, that's such a cool postcard. <laughs> uh, so... That's why if you do, if you are a good programmer, you are into that kind of stuff, like developing the Odroid and developing the Tinkerboard is going to be a better gaming experience in my mind, in the long run, in the long run. But we'll see. Maybe, maybe once the Raspberry Pi thinks that they're in trouble, they're going to shape up. 
I don't know. Come on, Goofy. There's no one behind you. Man, his acceleration is really bad. <laughs> that's no joke. Okay, that's brakes. How did I change my view? Okay, that's back. Um, so we'll see what goes on there. Uh, but the fact that this last Raspberry Pi came out and all we saw was a slight boost on the... Um, ooh, nice. We saw a slight boost on the processor and then we saw that Ethernet. We still don't have USB 3.0. We, you know, don't see a massive boost on the processing. You know, we'll see. I think the future is, you know, 4K video should be on there for sure. USB 3.0 should be on there. Um, and then the other big thing is just, you know, maybe two gigahertz, maybe even one of those Intel processors, the same ones we're seeing on the, um, the same ones we're seeing on the, um, the Dreamcade replay. Which brings me into the next topic, Dreamcade Replay. Um, I li love Asus products. I do too. I have an Asus monitor. I've had an Asus laptop in the past. Good company. And uh, But again, if you missed my first point, my first point is this. Is that Asus is a business. A for-profit business. The RetroPie Foundation isn't necessarily for-profit. Like A lot of what they do is like kids work you know getting single board computers into classrooms getting people to learn how to code um developing countries that need educate oh i got first look at that Ugh. so their priority isn't retro gaming their priority isn't having one of the fastest single board computers out there um but it is a really cool tinkering device so it'll be interesting to see how that works out let's play some hack games Yeah, the attract mode on here runs really good. Attract mode, thumbs up. Emulation station, a little slower. Are hacked in a different category? It might actually be in the actual game directory. Pretty quick uh, track mode, though, as far as the track modes are concerned. Sometimes they have a little lag as the menu comes up. Look, those games just come right up. Love the video, Drew. Keep it up. Thanks, Tony. Days, booting RetroPie from there. Hey, Drew, my compliments on your improved mic settings. Thanks, Dark Angel. <laughs> my settings are usually pretty good. Uh, you must have seen an old video, but also you're right. Like I have, uh, <laughs> occasionally what happens is I literally have about three mics hooked up. I'm, I, I use a laptop guys. I don't have a desktop. I've always used laptops. I'm a big fan of gaming laptops. I feel like now laptops have almost caught up to desktops unless you go super extreme on the performance. So I run uh, laptop. So my laptop has a built-in mic and then my webcam has a built-in mic. And then I have this mic I'm using right in front of me, the condenser mic. And obviously, the condenser mic is the way to go. Oh, here you go. Hax is back out here. Okay. Um, so what happens is, you know, when I plug in and out devices like my webcam and my mic, sometimes my Windows 10 will be like, yo, I'm going to use your mic on your webcam. And I'm like, no. Don't use it, but it used it without me seeing that it changed. And uh, that's when you hear mic issues. So, sorry if that ever happens. Let's try Wario Land Adventure. Let's see what's going on here. Um, damn, I need another 128 SD card. The um, sand disks are on sale right now. If you go to my community tab on my channel, they are on sale right now. Um, what else we got here? Can we see a Dreamcade replay video? 
great. I'm glad you brought that up. Let's talk about that. Yes, your sound is so clear now. Yeah, the other thing is I have this little pop thing right here. The other thing I've been improving on is... Um, so this is a Super Mario World hack, it looks like. Um, the other thing is with this is, you know, I occasionally will... Uh, is this a level or is this one of those ones where you just... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> First try. We're doing great. We're doing great. Dreamcade Replay. So Dreamcade Replay reached out to me. They are they are done with their units. They are back from China now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Suicidal um, things. Here's a tip. Don't forget that you are Wario. Press X when you are big to use your abilities. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um... They are going to send me a unit. I also ordered a unit as well. So um, the latest on that is... Do I have these controls wrong? I think I have my controls messed up. Why? That's why I can't run. Whoa. Yeah, I have my A and B swapped right now. So this uh, game's a little tough. So cool. They have the same... Oh, fish. Fish out of water. What is my run? Oh, there's my run. So my run is Y. Whoa, this guy's gonna suicide? Come on. <laughs> okay, A and B swap, not, not, the, not the fun. All right, soccer. X-Men versus Street Fighter. If you want like a Street Fighter 2-esque experience. It's cool that a lot of these games have uh, video snaps now. Before, a lot of these hacks didn't have 100 rooms of enemies. A Bug's Life hack. Aladdin 2000. What's Aladdin 2000 about? Let's give this a roll. <laughs> it's always fun to explore these games. Uh, Drew, what's up? 52 people watching, but only two likes? Yeah, smash that like button, guys. Thanks. Thanks for the reminder. Um, the view bots are real. <laughs> now, I think a lot of people passively watch. You know, they're not... Um... Wow, this game is lag haven. Whoa. Die. Uh, anyways, Dream Kate. Oh, he does like a slide. Can we slide? Am I dying? I feel like I'm not dying. I'm able to rock. Okay, that's jump. Um, Dream Kate replay. So they have them done. They're back from China. They're gonna ship out really soon. As far as um, my videos go, I, I want to do another. Oh, he's like hurt right now. Man, what's up with this game? It's so weird. Oh, dog's barking. All right, I'm quitting. This game is a little weird. Uh, Super Nintendo Alex Pancake World. So they're going to send me one. Uh, they emailed me. I also ordered one. So we should see the final, final project. I, I, in my personal, so you might be wondering what's the difference because you already did an unboxing video. And for those of you that missed it, you can see I did an unboxing video. Let's try F-Zero Grand Prix 2. Let's try this. Um, for those of you that um, saw the video, you saw that they sent me a box. Everything was there. But uh, that was kind of a prototype unit. Um, the, what you can expect that's different is the final instruction manual. You'll finally get to see that. Um, the other thing being that the VGA port is in there now. The US, mine came with a USB type C. The USB type C is gone with because that's what the, um, ACE PC had stock and they had the uh, VGA port added to it. And then the biggest thing that you guys are probably wondering about is, um, uh, what was I going to say? Is the, oh, there's a new Windows update. Ooh, I'm not good at these uh, S turns. Man, people, I'm getting, oh, I feel like I'm getting a lot more damage done to myself than is actually happening. Um, this reminds me of bowling with bumpers. <laughs> 
Uh, so there's this new Windows update, and for those of you who don't know about the Dreamcade replay, is it runs off of Windows 10. The thing about Windows 10 is Windows 10 will then throw you software updates, and uh, you might be thinking, like, why does that really matter? Well, it's kind of things like, for example, when you plug in an Xbox 360 controller, you know, on a Windows computer, it's like, oh, new device detected, you know, and you get this little pop-up in the lower right corner. And then there's also Windows drivers, so all these drivers need to be all good for when you do plug in a device that it doesn't just break your system. And um, so it's kind of similar to what happened when RetroPie 4.4 dropped. You know, people were trying to update the script and things are breaking, right? So that's gonna happen is they basically need to make sure that their code for their Dreamcade replay software is all gravy for the latest this, this is like serious bumper cars right here um all right there we go whoa okay i should probably not hit sometimes i feel like whoa power power down power down are we gonna be able to make this i don't know if we're gonna make this guys all right what do you guys think will we Okay, I don't want to hit those. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not looking good. I literally cannot hit another. Oh. <laughs> Will I make it? Will Drew Tox make it? Oh, he... the computer. The computer got me. So, um, when it's not updated, when the, when the script isn't updated, it, it would mess up. And so, for... Somebody who knows what to do, they can go into Windows Update, run the update, download the latest Dreamcade replay software, update it, and you're all good. But uh, some people potentially, well, the worst case scenario would be you get your Dreamcade replay and you plug it in and it just boots into Windows, nothing auto loads. You try to open up the Dreamcade replay software and it doesn't open. That could potentially happen if the Windows is on the wrong version. So, um, so it needs to be totally good and good. So Deadpool, cool stuff. New Mario Brothers World, Super Mario 3 mix out of this world. Castlevania hacked. Metroid hacked. A lot of Castlevanias, Metroids, Pokemons. There's going to be a lot of Pokemons. Let's try Sonic Drift. The Game Gear, the first portable, was it, was the Game Gear the first color portable system? When in the US, it was the first one. It's cool little bezels here. LOL, this hack is a downgrade. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Drew, legend, between you and ETA Prime, I've learned so much. Glad to help, man. Yeah, we're, we're all here to help. ETA is a great guy. Um, really fun stuff. You can see we both did the crow pie recently. That's a little Kickstarter. Um, so, am I just playing my... Whoa! Go Sonic. Look at Sonic Drift. Look at them. Did you see that face on this hedgehog? Oh, whoa. It's like the feather in a... That was something about Game Gear, though, was that it was very... All right, let's see if I can time this. One, two, three, right. One, two, three, right. Oh, I should have. I should have dedicated myself to that. Okay, one, two, three, left. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right, here we go. And, oh, these are all right turns. So it's just like NASCAR. Everything's a right turn. <laughs> Any NASCAR fans out there? I've never been a fan of NASCAR because everything is a right turn. I've always been more of a fan of Formula One. Um, so Dreamcade replay, really excited about that. Should this game is a little easy. Way to go, Sonic. Um, Dreamcade. Oh, let's try it. Let's try this new altered beast here. So Dreamcade replay should be cool. Should be fun. Can you overclock the Odroid? Probably. Um, but I don't know why you'd want to. I mean, it runs pretty much everything pretty well. I guess you can run. The thing with PSP, so I have this new Galaxy S9, 
And I even forget how fast this processor is, but this is one of the fastest mobile processors out there. Um, that's that Galaxy S9 Plus. Oh, I'm playing. All right, I need to die and start over. Um, and PSP, you know, once you get up to 4X resolution, I don't, I have not yet found a device except like my gaming computer over here that can really handle that. So back to the point of over, I just don't, so back to my point is I just don't see a big advantage in overclocking the Odroid. But I'm sure you can, especially with some advanced cooling, but the Odroid XU4 has a nice uh, fan already on it, so that's nice. Probably too much for us in Australia. Yeah, a lot of these things, even the Dreamcade replay, right? Like, I know you have to play customs and things like that. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, man. I command you to rise from the grave and rescue my daughter. You got it, buddy. I'm here to help. Um, ooh, get away from me. You gonna jump? It's not ready for that. Um, yeah, so there you go. 349 is the next cheapest for what? <laughs> I'm not confident enough to build or buy. Um, yeah, uh, unfortunately, there's no selling, and people who sell it to you are ripping you off. You really just need to, uh, Watch a few YouTube videos, buddy. What is it? I kinda wanna get big here. How do you kill this guy again? There we go. I just gotta wait for that guy? Okay, great. Come on, buddy. Get kicked. Uh, what else we got on the list? Um, so over people are asking about over oh that's a cool move down and up there you go that's how I got to kill the other guy um, the other thing is the since we're talking about like overclocking things like that I often get a, a question about you know what should I do should I get a tinkerboard an Odroid or a Raspberry Pi or another thing that gets brought up is the Dreamcade replay and the um, the other device being the uh, Nvidia Shield. There we go. Now we morphed up. Nvidia Shield. Now, if you have the money, get an Nvidia Shield. I mean, that's the most powerful. It does 4K, unless you get the older version. Um, really, really cool stuff. But just to me, the the Shield should not be in that. The Shield should not be in the. Um, can I not kill this guy? Oh, okay. The Shield should not be in that comparison because it's just way, way more. And then similar to the Dreamcade Replay, if you have the money, get the Dreamcade Replay. I mean, for the price, it's a total, it's totally awesome. Um, but when you're talking, you know, $35, that's a whole nother thing. Now I think the Odroid and the Dreamcade is a fairly, uh, fairly even comparison because by the time you buy the power supply for the Odroid and, uh, you get a 32 gigabyte SD card, which the 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 um, the uh, Dreamcade comes with a 32. Then uh, you're in a similar price point. And if it had to be between those two, two today, I'd go Dreamcade Replay because the Odroid image. I'm still waiting for that new ORA RetroPie image. I think it's going to be awesome, but they still haven't come out with it yet. So I'm waiting for that. With the um, so with the Dreamcade there. Now with the with the Raspberry Pi guys, where else are you gonna find a single board computer with this many pre-made images, this much support for $35? Now, $35 is a misnomer because you gotta buy power, SD, controller, da 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 da. Uh, but still, it's gonna be one of the cheapest with the most potential for that price. But again, a lot of you, some of you guys you know, have full-time jobs and you guys can make good paychecks. For those people, what the frick is that? <laughs> oh, that's the thing. I was like, <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. This is not gonna, what? Get off me. <laughs> um, so for those people, yeah, I mean, if you wanna ball it up, 
go and get a Nvidia Shield or get a um, get a uh, Dreamcade replay. Really cool stuff. Uh, which brings me into two more things I want to talk about. One is my phone, and two is the Atari VCS. So my phone, like, like nowadays, your phone is basically a mini computer at this point. I'm going to be doing a review on my Samsung S9 Plus soon. It's a, I, I love it. So such a nice phone. It's a little overkill for probably a lot of you out there, but uh, like I can play PSP games on it perfectly, just as well as any of these single board computers can. Um, so you know, buy as much processing power as you can for your money. Um, the other thing I would consider that I didn't bring up yet is a used, a used laptop. Throw that into that consideration. Now, um, the Atari VCS. So this has been kind of a roller coaster, and I haven't really been covering it, you know, just because I'm not gonna necessarily, I'm not backing it. I'm not that interested in it. If I had a little extra cash, would I back it? Probably just because it can make some good videos for me for my channel and it is kind of cool. I think it looks interesting and um, You know if I needed it, it could be a cool little multimedia center um, But what are my th so what happened if you those of you that have been maybe living under a rock are not familiar the Atari VCS I forget the price is what is it 300 350 and uh, They did a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo, which is basically a Kickstarter just a different one and um, it's totally funded. It's like almost $3 million. But then it came to light that the Tempest emulation that, or the Tempest that they were playing and another one of the games they were playing were not actually being played on a real Atari VCS. They were playing it with a different computer. So they were lying. They were showing this footage as if it was their actual game, but it wasn't. And this had the community outrage. RGT85 did a video about it. Metal Pixel did a video about it. And, um, you know, it makes for great content, right? Angry, angry gamer, mad, mad. People like to complain about GameStop and like failed Kickstarters. And that's why a lot of people talked poorly about the Dreamcade replay as well. Like a lot of people still think the Dreamcade replay is like, you know, is, is they broken promises and all this other stuff. But back to the Atari VCS. Um, I'm going to check it today. But last time I checked, it's, it's still... Even despite this little like, oh, they lied to us. They got us the wrong thing. It's still, it's still like super... Let's see. Did anybody back out? No. It still has almost 11,000 backers and almost three million dollars raised guys so yeah uh what are you guys writing in here really quick before we keep going on the atari miss yeah mr h Aris 128 rc from the nsa the first time i flashed retro pie copied over roms and finished my first build it felt great easy peasy yeah there's definitely something to be said about um about doing a project like this it's 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 very simple first of all but it's just nice to build your own little image it's really easy to do with retro pie super super easy um do you think the dreamcade will work in my bar top with zero delays yes absolutely um absolutely they will for sure Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, just do it. It's easy. People will help you in here, for sure. Okay, so let me finish the Atari VCS, and then there's a Dreamcade question in here. So, the Atari VCS, at the end of the day, like, this is something that, you know, I've probably said before, and this is why these pre-made Im like, this guy's talking about buying it, too, which is a good case in point, is most people will buy convenience. Okay, here's a really simple example. Simple example. You go into Whole Foods right now, there's or even Safeway or any of your local grocery stores, there's literally pre-cut oranges, pre-cut watermelon. Let's just take oranges for a sample. How hard is it to peel your own god dang orange? But people will pay money for someone else to peel their orange for them. And I'm thinking like, are you guys, are you crazy? Like get the orange and you freaking you open it up, and but there's this there's this market for this, so 
Um, back to the Atari VCS, I'm not saying that they're just peeling an orange for you. <laughs> or, you know, people wanting to buy RetroPie images pre-installed. Now that is a little bit more of prep. But to the Atari VCS is they're not doing anything new. Like you can download Atari ROMs. Atari has things on app stores and things like that to get these games. There's plenty of media uh, centers out there. The NVIDIA Shield, uh, the Alexa's coming out with their own box. Um, PlayStation 4 acts as a media center. Xbox acts as a media center. The Raspberry Pi acts as a media center. We have the uh, Dreamcade Replay, which is one third the price of the Atari box. Um, you have all sorts of mini PCs out there already, and that's basically all it is. Is it is a mini PC in this little retro case? So back to the orange point, the Atari VCS is going to succeed because a because of this one reason, which is people like simplicity. They like a, the why did the SNES Classic do so well? The NES Classic do so well? People like plug and play, easy to use devices. It's as simple as that. And so all those people complaining and like, oh my God, I can't believe Atari and they lied to us. Doesn't matter. They're still gonna make all the sales they want. Uh, oh, that was a bomb. <laughs> so as we're seeing, let the numbers speak for themselves. People are not canceling their orders. People still are buying the Atari VCS. So as much as people can complain and whine and whatever, it's still selling. Um, because people like to buy convenience. The other thing I, th the, I might, the other, this is also my opinion. The other thing is I do think there's this, there's this thing about nostalgia that people buy nostalgia. It, it reminds you of the old days. Um, really, you know, uh, you were an Atari fan before and now you, you know, you, there's this nostalgia of being able to own a new Atari. So, you know, for those reasons, it's a uh, pretty cool. Oh. So what do you guys think though? I mean, that's my personal opinion about it. Um, whoa. Oh, should have jumped a little sooner. Okay, and then there was a Dreamcade uh, question about did zero delays All right, questions in the chat. Is this guy gonna attack me? Okay, cool. Calm before the storm. Yes, everything is for educational purposes. Um, okay, got it, I understand, great. Relax, we don't want you to have high, high blood pressure. For uh, <laughs> for pre-cut food, you know, I have to say though, it does bother me a little bit. Also, because it wastes a lot of like unnecessary plastic. Uh, you know, they have to package this stuff. And uh, what can I do while I'm up here? Can I still throw? Okay, good. Uh, like it's just so unnecessary. Fruit has its own personal protection. To start with, we don't need to add personal protection to it. Can I jump down? Okay, there we go. Oh, this guy's a little sneaky. Okay, so the question was, does the zero delay work for the Dreamcade replay? I'm sure it does because they use zero delays on their um, on their bar top kits, and that's what people forget about the Dreamcade is the Dreamcade is a is a win win for. Um, for Dream Arcades. Dream Arcades is the subsidiary company and they make like 40 inch, 32 inch bar tops. And so they're, you know, before this Dreamcade replay, they used to put little HP small form factor computers in their, in their, in their arcades. So this is a win-win for them because, oh shoot, I thought he was gonna get me, but there's a little gap right there. Uh, they used to buy these HPs. Well, guess what? Now they no longer need to buy HP computers. They literally have their own computer now for their own arcades. So I'm not exactly sure what arcade buttons they use um, in their Dreamcade, in their Dream Arcades, you know, 40 inch arcade, but they are making this Dreamcade 
as a um, as the CPU they're gonna put in their arcade. So I'm sure it's gonna support the majority of, uh, of arcade sticks and arcade uh, controllers like Zinmo, the Dragonwise, things like that. Um, I did wanna comment on this as well. I know I talk only positive about the Dreamcade. Um, so let me just tell you right off the bat, like, yeah, it really sucked that it took this long to get it. I agree with that sentiment. You're right, that is definitely their bad. It took a really long time to get here. But at the same time, I like to educate the viewers. And uh, what I want to mention about the Dreamcade is um, they've always, that's always been one of their selling points is, I need to get out of this spikes, is, um, is the uh, controller compatibility that, I, I don't think that box is worth it. Okay, that one's definitely not worth it. It's the bomb. Is uh, they've always, um, blow up. They've always kind of sold you on this idea that, um, that, you know, no matter what controller you throw at this thing, they're gonna be able to, they're gonna be able to run it. And, um, go, don't tell me what to do. Uh, they're gonna be able to run it. And, uh, so that's a big, that's pretty, whoa, what the heck is this guy? Okay, so he's got a, uh, I gotta get him right between the swipe. Or, got him once. Oh! Swipe at me. Hit. Swipe at me. I'm getting it, guys. Swipe. Got him. Um, something I did want to bring up is that um, with that with that controller compatibility. Oh man. The this company is in the USA. And. Uh, I thought I got him. So if you have any issues, like, you know, like I talked to him on Facebook, like I Facebook message him. They email me, we also talk on Facebook Messenger, but like, it's a US company. So if you do have a problem, or you are trying to like set up a zero delay controller, like it's one of the one retro gaming companies out there. Like, I don't know about um, Retrocade. I've never had an issue with Retrocade. So I can't actually speak about that. But every time I've had an issue with this particular, oh, am I out of knives to throw? So I gotta go up to him and hit him. Um, I need to learn how to jump a little faster here. So that to me is really cool. That, uh, so it's a, it's a, it's like a family business almost. Like they're pretty, I'm gonna lose. There we go. Oh, nice. I got so close. So if you do have a problem, like you want to add zero delays or something like that, like I really think it's a company that if you email them, they'd get back to you and like tell you how to do it. So that's, that's, that is a bonus that you get with a device like that. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, all right, let's save our state there. I'm liking this. I'm liking this one. Oh, whoa. Horse level. Oh. This is dope. Is this a kite? What are there, there's guys jumping off kites? Power. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This kind of reminds me of the level in Contra where um, you're on the speed bikes. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, so I think that's pretty cool. It goes under your skin as the food goes bad. Yeah, it goes, yeah, exactly. The food goes bad. It doesn't last as long either. Drives me bananas, literally. <laughs> um, what up, Apple Device Pro? It's been a while, man. How you been? You've been, you've been, you've been... You know, hitting the YouTube up or what? The Dreamcane owner seems cool. Yeah, he does seem cool. If you guys missed it, you guys saw the interview. He used to work for Intel. Um, and he's got a good team too. Like the other guys I've met that work for him 
are really nice. Whoa. So, um, yeah. And as far as features, as far as I know, guys, you're still going to be able to um, use that ROM downloader. Oh, come on. Why doesn't that guy die? There. As long as you use that ROM downloader, it, that's what I think a lot of people are really excited about. A lot of people are like, even how are they even able to do that? Um, and a lot of the reason why they're able to do that is because they're not actually doing anything. Like they're just, they just have a script. That's all they do is they have a script. The, the people hosting the ROMs is archive.org which is an online database of ROM. So a lot of people are like, how are they able, you know, and it's like, it's just a script, you know? Um, okay, definitely did not figure that boss out. All right, that was a good game. I saved my state, so if I want to go back to that, I can. Saving your state is just select or whatever the hotkey is, plus your right trigger to load is select and your left trigger or bumper, should I say. Um, so I'm really liking the attract mode on this image. Um, I think he's gonna make some small fixes on here, but um, the attract mode is beautiful, really nice. Still have your favorites, the nested systems. You can go to, like handhelds here, go to all your handhelds. So that's the update. Um, what's going on? What's so to summarize? Summarize here. Still very bullish on the uh, Odroid and the Tinkerboard. I think it's going to be awesome. Dreamcade replay. I should actually have one maybe this week, potentially. Uh, he contacted me like last week or the week before saying that he has the units now. They should be shipping out, by the way, guys. He has them. Uh, you know, he's sending me one, one of the new finished products. So you can see like the full, like what the Kickstarter people are going to be getting. And um, so Kickstarter, Tinkerboard, Odroid, looking good. Uh, Neo Geo Mini. Still waiting on that, guys. But once the pre-order comes up, we'll, we'll be good. Um, Atari VCS, people like convenience. It's still going to sell great. I'm not backing it. If you want to back it, go for it. Uh, if you didn't get what I was trying to say, what I was trying to say is however much money you make, like go for that device. Buy as much processing power as you can, right? It's just that's, that's the way to go. Um, as far as the best bang for your buck, it's probably going to be the Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, next up, uh, you're probably going to want to go for either the Odroid or the Dreamcade uh, or a used laptop. Those would be my go-tos. When you get up to the um, when you get up to the uh, Nvidia Shield, um, that's dropping in price. So as it gets more used and you can pick them up, that would actually might fall into the previous category. But then you're going to be talking the Atari VCS, a mini PC, a laptop, things like that. So to me, it's like an emulation to price point grid if you will and so that's 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 my opinion on that um 128 gigabyte images this one still gets my thumbs up it's really good i i'll tell you this for a fact it would definitely make my top five i still need to like revisit some other 128s before i give you the full 128 image review um something kind of interesting is ever since retropie 4.4 like all my old videos, all the 4.3s, like I would probably not include any of those into my top fives anymore because of the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus running on Jesse. You know, I just wouldn't do it. Uh, you know, I just did, to me, that makes them obsolete at that point. So what we're seeing now with RetroPie is um, a new era of images. So a lot of those videos need to be remade. Um, and so my advice for any image makers out there as a reviewer is I think we need more 32s and 64s because although we saw a lot of 32s and 64s in the past, they're all running, the majority of them are running 4.3 RetroPie. And so to me, a lot of that's obsolete. So if somebody made like a Nachos image and revised it all and kind of stuffed a few new things in it and updated the scripts and the bezels and things like that, that would be an awesome image. And no one has done that yet. Um, and then at the 32 as well. I think the 32 is such a great budget build. Currently, guys, my 32 that I go for is the um, is Recall Box. But as you know, Recall Box only works for the Raspberry Pi 3, not the B plus. So I'm hoping that they um, 
they update that on recall box but also there's yet to be like a 30 like where did gaming had a 32 a long time ago that was just stuffed to the brim it'd be cool to see a retro pipe version 4.4 of that um things like that you know so uh what did we talk about we talked about that single board computers neo geo atari so i think i hit all my topics here guys so thanks for tuning in if you could leave a little like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um leave your questions comments below and uh with all that said have a great um rest of your monday i hope everyone's having a good summer the weather's been amazing it's summer's just to me i love summer summer's awesome so hope you guys have some fun with the retro gaming enjoy the weather enjoy the times and uh we'll catch you on the next one